Welcome to our video demonstration of connecting a USB device uh, so that you can listen to music. Uh, this video demonstration is of a Ford and exactly how you connect up and listen to music in a Ford. The system that we're using, the one that you can see on the screen in front of you, is much the same in most Fords uh, and if not it will work in much the same way regardless of where the buttons and option menus are and what have you. So first thing we need is a USB memory stick like this one. This is a 64 gigabyte memory stick, will hold probably 30,000 or more songs uh, so certainly saves in the need to take CDs out with you. The very first thing I'm going to do is show you on a computer exactly how you get your music from the computer to a USB memory stick. So let's do that first of all and then we'll come back to the car afterwards. Okay, so now that we're in front of a computer, you just need to access your music library uh, on your laptop or computer uh, so that you can see all of the songs uh, that you've got. You can insert a CD if you want and download that uh, straight to the uh, laptop and then all your music will be there. Uh, for me, I've just quickly put a few albums on there as you can see. Uh, what we're going to do now is pop them onto a memory card. So the first thing we're going to do is put the USB memory stick in and then I'll show you what we do after that. Okay, so the memory stick is in. So at the moment I've got my music library on the left. That's the music that's on my laptop. On the right, it's empty at the moment. That's the USB memory stick, so there's no music on it. What we want to do is put all of this, so we just highlight it all, and then we just click and drag it across. We want to put all that onto the memory card. And so as you can see now, it's working on doing that. It's doing it pretty quickly. Obviously this will just depend on how much music you're putting on there. And then once that's done, it's on your USB memory stick and time to plug that into the car. So let me show you how that works now. Okay, so now that we have the music on the USB memory stick and the memory stick in the car with us, the next thing we need to do is connect the memory stick up and listen to some music. So firstly, if we hit that box there, that takes us into the music section of this car's uh, entertainment system. And down the side there, you'll see it says USB. If I was to tap USB now, it will say no device connected. So the next thing we need to do is actually connect the device up. So all the way back in the central armrest just there, you can see uh, there's SD memory card slot, but there's also a USB uh, slot as well. So what we're gonna do is plug the device in. We can now shut the central armrest. We won't need to access that again and go back up to our main screen. If I now hit USB, it will open up the menu and uh, you'll see that the music is on there currently. If I turn the volume up on the stereo, you'll now be able to hear it playing as well. There's various options over on the right hand side for shuffling tracks, uh, options, browsing. So we can uh, hit browse for example, um, and it will tell us the music that we've got on file. Uh, so you can see there all of the tracks that I put on using my laptop not too long ago, they're all here. So if we wanted to listen to uh, U2 for argument's sake, it'll show all other albums we've only put one on there with 11 tracks long uh, and then just hit a track or hit play all and it will start to stream that song so as you can see really really easy to use the major benefit in uh, USB connections as I said is the number of songs that they will hold um, there's different capacities of USB memory sticks obviously but you can hold so many songs that really you can have your entire CD collection on there should you wish to uh, if you'd like to come and see this system working for yourself please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd be only too happy to demonstrate it firsthand for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video.